Alright everybody, this is the Baseball Hut, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host of Hut, and welcome back to the Baseball Hut too. I hope you like this video, hit that subscribe button. So we're going to talk about uh, the, the goofball weirdo, Trevor Bauer. Trevor Bauer is on an apology tour, trying to resuscitate his major league career by doing interviews with different... I was shocked... To see that WFAN, in particular the Mid Morning Show, got it, got this interview. This is a big interview. Now I might have a different take on this than everybody else does. I always do. Um, so we're going to get into this. I'll read you the Odyssey. I would mention, as you can tell, I'm a Mets fan. Uh, I am not a big fan of this pitcher. It's more about the pitching side, but then after reading and, and going through things about him, he's a little different. He's a different guy. We know he's had issues been out of baseball for the last uh, well, three years now, you know, uh, because of the problem that he had with these this woman, and there have been other women uh, that have sort of complained about him. He came awfully close to getting arrested in California two, two three years ago. Headline from Odyssey.com. Trevor Bow tells BT and Sal he would welcome chance to pitch for the Mets or the Yankees in 2024. Trevor Bowers, you know, he pitched for the for the Indians, now the Guardians, the Reds, and he was pitching for the Dodgers after winning the Cy Young in 2020. The Mets came in second trying to get him. Uh, and they came and they thought they had him. Sandy Olsen and the Mets thought they had him signed. And then uh, he decided to go to the Dodgers. The Mets were not a happy group. Because they thought they had his name on the dotted line. He made them think that he, he signed them. He was signed, sealed, and delivered. Trevor Bauer joined Brandon Tierney and Sal Licata in the studio on Friday. Talk about his quest to return to the majors after settling a high profile legal dispute with a, woman, with a woman accusing him of sexual assault. Oh boy. Bauer is still facing another suit, but he has never been arrested or charged, and is hoping there is a team out there that will take a chance on him. As he works to rehabilitate his image among fans, the media and others, he does not believe he will have much trouble accomplishing that within MLB clubhouses. Quote, I have very good relationships with players in the game, Bauer said. I'm sure there are people out there that don't like me, of course, but I have countless texts from players, coaches, managers, people in all walks of light, all walks of baseball that won't say anything publicly, as I'm sure you can understand why they might not do that. I do appreciate the guys that have come out and said stuff, but there are countless other texts I have. I think I have a reputation of being bad in the clubhouse. Some things I might fall for, for sure. Others are completely out of my control, but I haven't felt that in years and years. Dating back to my time in Cleveland, I was fine in the clubhouse. We were close as a team. Now, I would mention, at his final start for the Indians at the time, when he was getting taken out by Hall of Fame manager, um, you know, Terry Francona, instead of handing him the ball, he took that ball and threw it into the alpha. This was in 2019. And the next day, the, the, the Indians traded him to the Reds. And he had to be finished the last two months. He pitched terribly. We were close as a team. I went to the Reds and Dodgers, and we were close as a team. The perception doesn't match the reality. Bauer says his agents have had a lot of conversation with teams about potentially signing. And it's very hopeful he will be on a big league mound in 2024. As for the local teams and the prospect of playing New York, Bauer hopes the Mets and their fans will be more able, be able to move past the controversy of the 2021 offseason. When Mets hats signed by Bauer posted to Bauer's website before he signed with the Dodgers. The way that unfolded was unfortunate, a big mistake on our part having that website page live. I regret that. I wasn't an attempt to troll anyone or piss anyone off. People turn down big offers from other teams all the time, so I would hope that doesn't impact future decisions. It might, and that's on me. My team made that mistake. As for the Yankees, Bauer doesn't believe his reported few of ace Jared Cole would be an issue, as he believes their relationship is a good is, is a good one. I have nothing but respect for him. Bauer said of his former college teammate. I love to pitch against him. I like testing myself against the best, and what better way to do it than to be in a rotation facing the same teams with the same defense and everything? I love that opportunity. Asked if he feels he could handle New York, especially given the events of the last two and a half years of his life, Bauer didn't hesitate. Yeah, absolutely, Bauer said. 
that the last two and a half years haven't knocked me down. There's not much that's going to. Now, obviously this situation with this woman was settled. Okay. That's not, that doesn't do it me as a fan or you as a fan. Um, he pitched last year for the Yokohama Dina Bay Stars, I think, with the Shota de Managa. And he had a good year. He went 11 and 40 in the area on the three. Pitched 160 innings, I think, if I read right. So he pitched rather well for them. Pitchers tend to pitch well there, and they, they can translate. Now, he said during his interview that he thinks he's a, he's still a t- top 15 pitcher in the world. First of all, he had one big two months with the with the Reds. Okay. In my view, he's a, he's, he's a number three starter. But because he's such a goofball, he's made himself sort of a polarizing figure. With all his weird behavior, and it's not just in the clubhouse. He's had weird behavior, doing weird things on the mound that are inappropriate, like this BK no, you know, this BK thing, you know, uh, you know that he did years ago. He, the initials of a Bush nose, of you know, about Bush knew about 9/11. I mean, he's done weird stuff, and like I said, he threw a ball in the outfield, uh, in his last start for the for the Indians. So he's had a very checkered past, even on the field. Outside the lines is one thing a lot of times, but it's inside the lines there's been this kind of odd, kind of weird uh, behavior. Uh, well, that's my take on it. I know a lot of people can say, sign him, sign him, sign him. You got to look at it, very, can, can he still pitch? I don't know. He's a pitch in the big leagues in a long time now. Pitched last year. He pitched pretty good. He is a known guy that has said that he does funny stuff with the baseball. He said that he has scuffed the baseball. He's put stuff on the baseball. So he's also known as a guy that will cheat if he has to. That's my that's my uh, quote. That's not him saying that. He's, he said he did stuff to the baseball with you know, different tacky substances and stuff like his friend, Jared Cole, the American League Cy Young Award winner. They give Cy Young Award win, wins to... You know, Cy Young Awards to anybody at this rate. The guy that cheat, Two cheaters. That's great. That would be fun. Well, let me know what you think about this video. Of course, please subscribe to the Baseball Hut 2. And I'll see you later.